Hi, today we're going to make a Word or Word cloud and we're going to stick it into our classroom blog. Before we get started, make sure you have your dashboard open and ready to go. You have wordle.net open on a new tab or window. First of all, we're going to click on to wordle.net. Wordle.net is a very easy site to navigate. You can see right here we want to create our own. Now here it's asking us to paste a bunch of text and I have already prepared a bunch of text. My husband and I brainstormed all the words we could think of that are associated with fishing. As you can see on purpose I have copied and pasted the word fishing several times just to make sure it is the most by far. Okay, so let's highlight it all. We're going to copy that text go back to our browser and we're going to paste that bunch of text into the box. There we go, it's all in there and then we push go. Now Wordle may take a few seconds to work on so we're going to go back to our dashboard and prepare our new post. Whatever you do, don't exit out of that tab. So. We all know how to do this, add a new post. We're going to call this a fishing wordle. Oops. Sorry, my typing is very poor. We're going to add a title just so that we acknowledge where we got our word cloud from. This is a wordle dot net word cloud about fishing obviously if it was about some specific learning you would explain that there here we go nice and big title and I'm going to make this blue okay we'll go back to Wordle and see if it's ready and here we have it Fishing. As you can see, fishing, the word fishing, is much bigger than the other words. Now I don't really like the colours of this, it's all a bit morbid. So I'm going to color, change the colours to blue meets orange. And I'm going to change the font. I quite like duality. And if I wanted to, I could always change the layout as well. If I wanted round the edges, having the words in any which way, I'll show you what that one looks like. It's a bit random for me, mostly horizontal, or you can have them all vertical. Okay, I'm going to have them all horizontal. There we go, I quite like that. It even kind of looks like a fish. Okay, the next part is taking a screenshot. If you wish to, you can upload it to the public gallery, but I prefer to take screenshots of these wordles. If you're a lucky Mac Fantastic user, you can use the shortcut Apple Shift 4. And there we go, my cursor has turned into a little bullseye target. And we're going to click and drag over the area that I want a photo taken of. I'm sorry but I really don't know what an alternative option would be on a PC. There we go, once we've taken the photo and taken our finger off the button you can see that the picture is right here. Okay so we'll shut our Wordle because we don't need it open and we'll just get rid of our pages document. Now here is our Wordle on our desktop ready for us to upload it straight to EduBlogs. So we open up our browser again and we click down underneath our writing where we want the um, picture and up here there's a button called add media and we're going to click on this little square here. This is the image uploader from EduBlogs and we're going to add a media file from our computer which is the screenshot of the Wordle which is on our desktop. So all you do is you push browse 
we know it's on our desktop and then we select it and you can see the little preview here so we know we've got the right thing and we push open then we just push upload okay here is our wordle uploaded we need to give it a proper name so we'll call it fishing wordle we'll center it and we're going to leave it at full size and then we just click insert into post and here is our fishing wordle stuck in underneath our writer we add the tags wordle add um, what else it's a word cloud Oops. wordle brainstorm add that and it's a word cloud under the categories we'll add learning and then we just push publish and with luck we'll view the post and here is our Wordle word cloud embedded onto our EduBlogs classroom blog